Even before people complained about the lack of open world, they complained about no cars, no toddlers, no ghosts, no swimming pools. When The Sims 4 was first released, everybody's biggest complaint was this cupcake machine here. How can this be so annoying and so bad? Well, the only way to make cupcakes in the game was to use this machine, but not anymore thanks to today's update. So it's not just being able to bake cupcakes in the oven, but also they've changed up the cooking menu. So you can see now we have different categories of stuff and cupcakes have been added to the sweets category. We've also got seafood, meat, lactose free and vegetarian. The only thing that they haven't dealt with, which really boils my piss, is under baking. Like they haven't really sorted this out. It makes no sense to me. For example, you bake brownies, but you don't actually bake a cake. You cook a cake. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Did you know baking came with the get to work pack? So all of the recipes that came with get to work are under baking, which is a baking skill, but it's not cooking. It's so confusing. Why is baking not the same as cooking? I wonder if there's a mod that combines these skills. That would be useful. Now, whilst we have Kitchen Shanice baking us some red velvet cupcakes, there's actually some more. So you may have noticed in the trailer for the cool chef hustle, my first kitchen, whatever it's called, stuff pack. They have the ability to make a market store kind of thing in any lot, and then you can bake stuff on that lot and then sell it there like it's freshly made. So obviously in order to do that, you need to have kitchen equipment, small appliances that you can carry in your inventory. Previously, these appliances could not actually be carried out or most of them couldn't anyway. But now we've got an update. So all of these appliances, so the chocolate fountain that came with luxury party stuff or my wedding stories, you can put that in your inventory. This, I don't know what this is, a hot pot bowl from Snowy Escape the popcorn maker that came with my first cinema stuff pack, this drinks jug. I have no idea what pack that came in. <laughs> There's too many of them. We've got this, is it called carver guava juice? Whatever it is in that bowl. We've got this one again. What is this? Absolutely no idea what pack this came with. Anyway, you can pop that in your inventory. Now this one also the ice cream maker you can put in your inventory, but also this actually has a brand new update. Now, if you don't know the ice cream, machine came in the cool kitchen stuff pack before only adults could make ice cream with it but they finally made it so that children can do it which is a nice little update it's obviously something that they should have put in from the start because we don't have any children's gameplay in the sims 4 but still it's nice to see guys i think i've just discovered like a really good hack in the sims 4 like by accident like one of those stupid money making hacks where the sims team don't bother balancing the economy so this costs 90 simoleons to restock but if I put it in my inventory the drinks go in my inventory and we can sell them all for 120 meaning that we make 30 simoleons profit each time and we could just do that again they don't they don't think a lot of these things through do they <laughs> anyway it's nice to see we've got this update although my sim glitch whilst trying to bake cupcakes I wasn't really watching properly maybe that's why should we try again don't tell me the bloody update is broken is it broken okay all oh, right it's not broken thank god for that. <laughs> it's about to get pissed off then. Also, apparently before toddlers couldn't eat cupcakes, but now they've updated it. And it's so weird. Like I wouldn't even notice they didn't have these things. The Sims team have said before that they're never ever doing a pack refresh ever again. Ever since we got the spa day one, obviously that didn't get enough sales for them. So they didn't bother making it anymore, which is a shame. But if we get little updates like this every now and again, for example, the cool kitchen stuff, ice cream machine being used by kids, or being able to make cupcakes. If they do these updates, especially to older packs, I think that would make Simmers very happy. Now, another big thing that plagued me during my Horse Rancher Let's Play was gardening. So the biggest issue, the buggiest thing with gardening, I believe this bug has been there since seasons, forgive me if I'm wrong, where plants will just reset and turn into a pile of dirt and the plant basically disappears. And it's been a bug plugging the game for ages. It was actually fixed by a modder, Little Miss Sam, I believe and she fixed it ages ago and the sims team have only just caught up crazy how they would leave such a big feature broken for so long especially considering that gardening is a major feature of so many packs they wouldn't think to fix a major feature for months and months and months but there we go they call ea the mcdonald's of video game publishers for a reason oh we have some cupcakes out here red, wh why have we got red velvet cupcakes out here <laughs> 
actually, so where did you make those? Did you make those behind my back? Now, also another big massive fix for those specifically people who are legacy players or like taking photographs. So there has been a huge bug in The Sims 4 where when you take certain photographs, if you put them in a certain kind of storage box, the photographs go black. Specifically with The Sims 4 growing together, the pack came with some keepsake boxes, which are basically, I guess, just kind of like memory boxes where you can put certain memorial stuff in there and it's got some gameplay around it. Now before, if you put a photo in it, the photo would turn black and disappear but they fixed it now, but they've only fixed it for brand new photos taken. So if you have a photo that was taken before the patch and put it in the box, it will still turn black in an error. But if I take a photo now of my beautiful cupcakes, I believe if I put it in the keepsake box, it should no longer turn black. There we go. The photo no longer turns black. It's not broken anymore, which was such a big issue for ages because the whole point of a keepsake box is to put like photos and memories in there. So I'm very glad that they fixed it. Obviously the main reason for this update to come out is for the cool kitchen stuff hustle chef. Honestly like why did they make the pack names like tongue twisters? I can't deal with it. <laughs> why do they have to do that? Could they not have just called it dine out 2.0 or cool kitchen 2.0? Do you know what I mean? This update is in lieu of that pack coming out where you're basically able to sell things from like a market stand and you can bake things and you can make different kinds of foods. Obviously, if you're going out into a public lot, then you need to be able to take portable kitchen appliances. So I'm really glad that they've updated all of the ones from previous packs to be portable. And what that indicates to us before the Cool Kitchen Stuff Hustle pack has even come out yet is that it will have cross pack play with other cooking appliances from other packs and you'll be able to sell stuff from other packs. And this makes me very excited because The Sims 4 Dine Out was supposed to be the pack where you cook your own food and sell it and it was absolutely awful because you cannot cook your own food with the pack. You can own a restaurant on paper that you can't cook in there, you can't be a waiter, you literally can't do anything. It is the worst excuse for a game pack I've ever seen in my life just behind my wedding stories. So it seems like Cool Chef Hustle Kitchen stuff may actually be the successor to Dine Out and only be a stuff pack. Finally, you might be able to create your own restaurant if you bake all your own stuff and then you sell it there. Especially, okay, if you go onto a community lot and you lock the door, for a building so only your sim can go in it. Technically, you could kind of make it ownable like it was yours. Although we don't know with the Chef Hustle kitchen stuff pack yet if sims will actually sit down and eat because in the get to work pack, you can run and own your own bakery. But even though sims can buy stuff from the bakery, they won't actually sit in the bakery and eat it. Unfortunately, it's a little bit misleading with the get to work pack. This is a fourth iteration of some kind of cooking gameplay added to a pack. So hopefully this time they will actually add that as an intended feature. I really do hope so. Guys, I literally look horrendous today, I know. Usually I make like a little bit of effort before I record a video, but it is really late. It's about 20 to 9 at night and like I just don't want to do that right now. Please don't comment on my appearance because I feel very self-conscious right now. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss my brutally honest review of the upcoming First Chef Hustle stuff pack. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.